four nights in a row I've been on Episangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. So big. Where's mommy? Material of materials. Gold unique. By breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the chosen one. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the fight. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. Ad Ignem. Ad Lucam. The distillate is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and break the tanks. Twenty 
keep out. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of Elisanguis. His faith protects him. It protects us all. to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. Enough! I demand to see Vitalis now! The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop! I represent the Pope! Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. 
Your rank should make you more cautious. <sighs> Madness! Don't listen to them. The most important thing is mommy. Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the great plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. Freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening earlier. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. <sighs> but how can we be sure? Huh? Let's see. Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. <sighs> but how can we be sure?
Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. They said, I have to keep going down. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monsignor. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If 
the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. <laughs> Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. Attention! But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? Uh, I was told that the carrier of the Maculae is here. Is that right? 
The child turned himself in this morning. Apparently there was a disagreement with his sister. As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis's conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mammy without him. Tell me. Why can't I hear you like Your the others? Rats. Seeing as we have to transport them. You have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a, a radical change of diet. <sighs> Good. Hey, kid. <gasps> Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he wait a little while. The rats prefer fresh food. Damn you! You'll all go to hell! You, you and your fucking rats! Nothing at all. God shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Ah, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no, she's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. She must be near here. We can't get out. Ah, please. At least let me die out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard.
Magistrate Ron. She's talking to mommy. The last time. Will you answer my questions? Or perhaps you're still upset about what happened to your husband. Right. Our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hide. Mommy? Uh uh. Mommy? Hugo? But, but. So they. Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia? My darling. You must go if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Oh my god. All right, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to meet them here. Right. This might get me a promotion. Authority, selts. I thought you right were efficient. That Darun no woman has a stump of a real lady. So soft. Anyway, the knives are sharpened. I'm out, lions, vibrant, so everything is ready. Have I forgotten anything? Hm. With the captain around, best double check. <laughs> 